We interrupt this program to bring you a special KEMC television news exclusive. The following report by Bobby Bonaire, host of KTHC Radio's Emerald Airwaves, concerns the recent shootout on 12th and Mill Streets. Before I knew it, machine gun fire filled the air and I was pinned to the ground by a screen of artillery fire. I would surely have been killed if not for protective sunglasses furnished by Uncle Ray's mobile sunglass boutique. Two bullets deflected off my protective lenses. If not for Uncle Ray's glasses, I would, I would have been history. And right now, let's pause for a word from Uncle Ray's mobile sunglass boutique, Emerald City's finest in protective eyewear. Well, look, you don't need money for these. They're barter. Have you ever heard of Uncle Ray's sunglasses boutique? No. Uncle Ray's mobile sunglass boutique? Where's that? Why, it's right here. They are great. You can even see through them. <laughs> Would you ever consider buying a pair of sunglasses from Uncle Ray's mobile sunglasses boutique? No. Who needs money? He only takes barter. Well, would you like to try on this pair of sunglasses? Wow, these are really yellow. Emerald City! Yeah! The soap opera, your hair clean! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Do you mind if I have a seat? No, day. this is wonderful! I've never seen you in person. As long as the sun shines, I'll wear them. When you hit that girl, Tina, that was great! That was yeah, yeah. wonderful! I got this product uh, I want to sell you. Would you wear a pair of sunglasses right now if I let you wear these? No. You? I'll put one in the back of my head and run backwards, huh? Notice how everything's much nicer and sunnier and brighter out? Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Have you seen these sunglasses? I know you. Get away from me. I, I see your TV. I don't want anything. No, no. Uh. You broke your glasses? I don't care about the glasses. I want to know where Zach is it's so I can ring his neck. People have I'll go wear sunglasses both days. Award-winning Emerald City talk show host, me, Bobby Bonaire, back at the corner of 12th and Mill. As I was saying, there were probably about a hundred of them. Junkies, murderers, insurance salesmen, smugglers, turning this blighted of area of town into a combat zone. A tank, driven by a sinister warrior with an eye patch, flattened the house that used to stand proud against the sky right here on this very spot. Suddenly, five big fire trucks zoomed around the corner. Swooping and diving bazookas and rocket launchers filled the air with hideous screeching. Bombs went off everywhere. And the ground began to shake with violence. Paratroopers rained down from the sky and children ran crying for their mothers. I, too, ran crying for my mother as the underground forces turned their weapons at me, an innocent victim. Sometime during all this, an exchange of drugs was made. And both Bruno Burns and Father Guido Malarkey lost their lives. When I returned to the scene of the crime with police, sometime later, only the body of Malarca remained on the ground. All traces of the drug traffickers had disappeared, and this neighborhood was once again the filthy, lower-class ghetto that it has always been. From West Beirut, I mean from the West University neighborhood, I'm Bobby Bonaire, for KEMC Newsbreak.